So I think I'm ready to welcome to the stage Mr. Joe Hoy. Hello guys, my name is Joe and the topic today is about corporate social responsibilities. So I'm going to start all of this with asking a question. Why does business exist? Is it for profit or is it to serve a purpose? Is it for shareholders? Is it for stockholders? Is it for customers, environments, or employees? And there's two views regarding this. The first view is shareholders' view. And it's much like traditional view that business is, exists to make money, to make profits. And it's not trying to seem as short-sighted as it may seem and may sound. It's trying to say that when company trying to earn a profit, it's being forced trying to solve social problems. So, for example, it's being forced to solve problems like workers' problem, it has to treat the workers well, if not the workers will leave. It has to come out with a product uh, that will transform people's life. It has to have, not pollute the environment because that will tarnish the brands. And in fact, a leading economist, Milton Freeman, a founder of shareholder theory, says that uh, the profit, the social responsibility of the business is to increase profit. And he also believed that you can quantify it. You, you can also quantify the um, ethical behaviors into the profits. But in reality, you can't really do that. You take Starbucks, for example, in 2014, Starbucks started this program called College Achievement Plans. In that plan, he trying to enroll as many college students as possible, trying to get them finished and without, without any dips. But you take this perspective, in Freeman's perspective, they would say that I spent this amount of money on my student employees, so in turn, I should get this amount of profit back. But there's no show way of doing that. There's no show way of calculating that. Instead, Starbucks thinks differently. It's thinking that I will spend this amount of money because I care about my employee. I want them to do well. I want them to have college education. And in doing that, Starbucks have a great customer service, have great qualities. And it also leads to profits. So the second view is corporate social responsibility, or stakeholders view. In that view, is saying that it's not very different from the first view. It has some similarities that it both acknowledge profits is good. And the difference is that the profit in this view is only a byproduct, not the end goal. Business is there to serve a purpose, not to make profit. It's there to roll out the products that will transform our lives. It's there to create a happy workplace for employees is there to preserve the environment for the next generations. So by doing all that, even though there isn't a sure way to ensure profits, but by doing that, profit will follow. Take Costco, for example. Costco has demonstrated a lot of great quality of a stockholder theories. Costco, former CFO Richard Galente says that we want the business of trying to pay our employees more than our competitors. So that way we can attract the best talents in the industries and create great efficiencies. And that's exactly what Costco did. And Costco had been paying $20 an hour to its employees, which is about twice of the national minimum wage and it's paying 90% of the health care plans for its employees. And also, it's closing on a major U.S. holidays in expense of losing $2 billion a year. And that's a huge number. 
is doing that because it believes that in doing so, that so the employees can spend more time with their families instead of staying instead of working at the stores. So in Costco, stock stock price reveals that. It's that it's actually one of the best ones stock in the last decades. So all in all, the point that I'm trying to make in, in this presentation is that corporate, corporate social responsibilities and shareholders responsibilities does not is not mutually exclusive. They comprehend each other. They go hand in hand. By firms acting ethically, it actually helps the profit. It does not hurt the profit. So back to my first question, why do business exist? Is it for profits? Is it for serve a purpose? Is it to help environments, customers, employees? And the answer is all of them. It doesn't help your mobile choice. So invest wisely. Thank you very much.